awesome. I'm Abby Shram and I'm owner of B&B Goat Goods and I sell goat's milk soap and other bath and body products. I have a small hobby farm in Pine River and we have goats, a Jersey cow, horses, we raise pigs in the summer and chickens. So you have three workshops this today, right? Yes. Can you talk a little bit about those? They were great. Uh, two in the morning we're both soap making and I showed everybody how to make the soap, the process involved, and then everyone went home with a sample of soap with their own essential oils that they added to it, and then that way they can let that cure for a couple of weeks and then try homemade soap. The third workshop was Hobby Farm, is a hobby farm for me, and the reason I did that one this year is because both my husband and I jumped into a hobby farm feet first, and my motto has been in the past kind of go big or go home, and that hasn't always worked so well for us, and so I wanted to do a hobby farm for other people that are thinking about getting into critters or animals. Um, and how, you know what not to do, maybe what to do, what things to watch for, um, what animals you could start with, what animals are a lot more work, what animals are kid friendly, um, and kind of for your financial and time commitments that go along with it because th that's huge, especially if you work full time, which a lot of hobby farmers do. Okay. So how do you make it fit into your schedule? Now say someone was just starting off on the path to sustainability, mm -hmm. what kind of advice would you give them? Uh, you gotta have a lot of Tips, Tips stuff that we've done over the years. Like the first thing I would say is start with your own food. It is so easy to start growing your own food even if you only have a balcony. I mean you can still grow a lot of food on a balcony. You don't have to have property in order to do that. Start making your own products and try and wean yourself off of department stores and Target and Walmart and all that stuff. There are really only a few ingredients you need to keep yourself clean, to um, clean your household, to can your food, to make your own bread, you know, stuff like that. That's where the little things like that is where I would start and start trying to recycle certain things. Like a lot of stuff comes in glass jars. Don't ever throw glass away because it can be so useful. Glass is an awesome storage unit and so you can save those glass jars and then start making your own stuff and putting it in those glass jars and you don't have to ever buy anything. And then you wean yourself off of the stores and you realize, I don't need to go to Target once a week. I don't even need to go to the grocery store once a week. I've got my own vegetables. I can my own vegetables. I make my own bread. And then you slowly start to go, want more, and you want more, and you want more. And then that's where your steps lead you forward. And pretty soon you're doing more yourself than you ever thought you could, and you still work full time. And it, it just fits into your schedule. It becomes habit. And so taking little steps like recycling, um, growing your own food, and um, trying to wean yourself off of the stores is a really good place to start. I keep coming back because it's it's getting bigger and the more people we can get to do this, the better. So. That's great. Thank you yeah. so much. You're welcome. Thank you.